i am girish and i have 22 years of uh, software experience software in software development as well as software services and almost from 2010 that is 11 years so i am into agile and uh, scrum so i am practicing still i am practicing so and i have experience in uh, of course scrum and nexus and also kanban and i predominantly worked in uh, telecom areas data com as well as the healthcare and my skills would be project management and program management and of course agile coaching training agile related soft skills and agile transformation and also speaker so even in uh, emotional intelligence soft skills and project management i used to go for a lot of uh, uh, i i am one of the speaker and the photo is mine only so don't get surprised in the photo i am looking very somewhat handsome but really i am not like that okay so this is almost uh, 10 10 12 years back i took this photo but see now whatever i am you are seeing this is my real face okay so this is my introduction okay so can we move on to the subject just so whatever i know in the nexus so almost we implemented in our organization uh, four years back and still we are practicing so how we implemented and what are the challenges okay so what should be prerequisites we should have before starting and what are the benefits what is the value out of that from the nexus i would like to share okay okay yeah so the nexus actually this is from uh, scrum.org institute and we all know that so psm psm1 psm2 psm3 like that uh, nexus that is called scaled professional scrum this is one of the certificate okay so uh, and as we know that for uh, scrum.org we no need to attend any classroom sessions by reading we can attain this particular certification not only certification the knowledge okay so and most widely used let's say certification is uh, psm1 wherein almost uh, 4 lakhs okay 4 lakh people they attain that particular uh, certificate and of course psm2 3 are very minimal say psm3 almost it is trying to touch 1000 it is still in three digits and the sps that is scaled professional scrum that is mainly for nexus so that is around 4000 okay so this is the latest almost the latest uh, data uh, last one week one week back i took this particular data so this is what okay so one is getting the certification so that is just that ensures that we know something we know the subject okay more than that the pra- practicing matters more okay so how we practice okay and how we can get the value out of that from that particular course or from that particular certification or from that particular knowledge is very very important as we all know okay fine so the next is uh, almost i hope all of you we have scrum background right so we are practicing scrum in our organizations or we may be knowing the scrum as a framework okay so the scrum as soon as we talk about scrum the first thing in our mind it will come as so it is a one team okay wherein we daily do daily scrum uh, nec- uh, uh, sprint planning and uh, daily scrum review retro all those things will come to our mind and very small team and we'll sit in one particular table of course from now almost from one and a half year we are not sitting in the office we are remotely connected each other and we are doing scrum that is what will come to our mind okay so suppose if we want to say increase if you want to scale our teams number of team members okay so then definitely the challenge will come so even in our day day to day life suppose any work if we do alone independently if we do more efficiently we can do suppose if we involve another person to do the same work okay so if two people does the same work then naturally uh, output or the efficiency the expectation is double correct two persons means double 2x 
whereas we will get we will not get 2x the productivity will not get doubled okay instead of 2 we may get around 1 1.2 or 1.5 or sometimes it may reduce less than 1 also because of the dependency right so that is the day to day challenge we have so always it is always in order to get more efficiency or more productivity okay so if we do independently definitely we can expect more uh, efficiency or productivity suppose if we involve more then naturally the tendency is the efficiency or productivity get reduces that is a natural phenomenon right will you agree for that so and we also know that say for example uh, the number of channels suppose if i have only one team no problem suppose if i have two teams for example then the communication channel will be only one so there is a one formula very good formula uh, they are derived so that is number of channels is equal to number n into n minus 1 by 2 so i think we hope uh, i hope all all of us we know this particular formula where n indicates the number of people or number of teams rather if you go for uh, scaling the teams okay so suppose if it is three teams if it is three team means so three into 3 minus 1, that is 2. 3 into 2 is 6. 6 by 2 is 3. That means 3 channels. Suppose if I have 4 teams, for example, then the number of channels reduce, increases to not 4, it is 6. Suppose if it is 5 teams, then the number of channels will be 10. 10 combinations. Say, for example, suppose if I have 9 teams, okay, so then 36 channels, 36 channels to interact each other. So it is a almost it is a mess, right? So these are the challenges as we scale as we grow or if we include more people okay then one way the advantage is there the other the flip side is so then more channels more confusion it leads to a lot of communication more communication channels more problems okay so because of all these things so our productivity will get retarded it will get reduced the efficiency will become reduced Okay, so, okay, say for example here, so scaling is nothing but the scaling is, for example, how we can increase the value by many teams or by many number of people. Okay, so many teams, say as we know that because we are uh, mainly using Scrum as a framework, so the Scrum teams, the maximum size of the Scrum teams as per the Scrum guidance or based on the best practices which the scrum guide says is three to nine right so one team is having nine team uh, nine members suppose i want to give more value to the customer okay then in order to speed up i may have to increase the number of people suppose if i increase the number of people scrum does not recommend to go more than nine okay so what we will do is we will make number of teams more right so instead of one team, we'll go for two teams. Again, suppose if the customer demands more, okay, they want to see the value at the earliest, okay, then we will increase the number of team, the number of team members. As the number of team members increases, that many teams will get formed, right? So nine people is the maximum. Some teams, actually in some organizations, they may go up to 10, 12 and all, but maximum is nine. Suppose if I increase more 30 people, if assume that I want to give more value to the customer because there is no time that customer demand is more. They want to see the value in a very short time. Then what is the next option? We need to increase the number of people. Suppose if I increase the number of people, then I may have to make that many number of teams. Suppose if I make that many number of teams, then it is a challenge. As I mentioned, the communication challenge will come. Okay. So a lot of so many things, our efficiency will try to get dropped it will dip instead of increasing it will dip okay three teams means my expectation is three times x x where x is the productivity then instead of 3x i may get only 2.5x i may get even less than that okay so okay so here the scaling for example here i have just uh, depicted one particular diagram wherein so the x axis shows number of scrum teams whereas the y axis shows the products or product backlog 
or products, number of products. So for example, the very first coordinate, if I, uh, one team, suppose one to two teams, okay, if they are working on one particular product, it is a scrum, right? So one team is there, they are working for one particular product backlog, then it is a scrum. That is not a scale. About that, so more than one product, suppose if the one if the one team if it works in two products then it is a pain okay we should have two product backlogs okay and it is a painful again it is not a scaled it is not a scaled okay the next one so uh, wherein more products more than one product okay and more than two teams more than two teams okay then it is called as a portfolio right so more than two teams and more than one product it is a portfolio again it is not a scaled here the last one is scaled scrum where here one product backlog that means we are all the teams are working for one particular product wherein the, the number of teams are more more than two then we can call it as a scaled scrum got it so here the only the actually the summary is in single line if i want to tell so more number of teams so that means more than two teams that means more than two is three three two so the nexus guide they says that the recommendation is up to nine teams we can go for nine teams that means almost say nine into say each team is having say even if you take say 10 10 members okay so 90 people if they work for one particular product or one particular product backlog, okay, then we can use Nexus framework. So that is about Nexus. So the main concept is the number of teams we are increasing and, but all teams will aiming towards one particular product. So one product, so is worked by many teams, okay, so that at the earliest okay very in a very short time we can give value to the customer we can satisfy the customer okay so instead of by one team so we can make use of nine teams to give more value to the customer so that is the main objective okay <coughs> so here so scale scrum can i make it um, large screen yeah, is it okay if I make it? Okay, fine. Is my screen is visible? Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. So scaling, as I mentioned, scaling is mainly about aligning individual teams objective to enterprise level. Okay, all these days, I am working for my only one team, my team is having its own objective. Now, let us work towards enterprise level objective to satisfy the customer. Okay. So, scale scrum is any instance of involving more than two scrum teams creating a product or system. Okay. So, that is what we just I mentioned. When more than two scrum teams interrupt and use a scrum to develop the same product, then it is called scale scrum. Or it is even simple words, it is nexus. And dependencies are always, I, the dependencies will be in the four categories mainly. So either it may be a mandatory or it may be discretionary. Discretionary means it is optional, that is not mandatory. And again, internal and external. Suppose if we take any problem for the, if we take any problem in our life or anywhere, okay, either the problem will be internal or it will be in the external only only these two categories will be there any anything you we take okay similarly even the dependencies okay so dependencies are always either internal or external okay only two options and so the the dependencies could be in the form of requirements okay so requirements means one team which requirement they will take and another team which requirement will take so if they take what is the dependency because we are working towards all the teams are working towards the single product 
okay so that particular portion of the software okay whatever uh, product so it is sliced the requirements are slide and it is distributed across many teams say nine teams so then requirement dependencies may come and technical or domain knowledge okay all the teams may not have all the technical skills okay then there may be some technical or domain required dependencies may be there and software technology and test artifacts this kind of dependencies may be there and many types of dependencies will be there and as well as infrastructure say for example some teams may be using the same tool i may till they finish i cannot use okay or people dependencies okay some particular work will be depending on some particular skill set of the people so like the dependencies is n number of dependencies will be there okay so these are the different dependencies so when we when do we use nexus so so in order to build any one particular product we use nexus okay because all the teams within the nexus umbrella they work towards one single product and using multiple teams yes and these teams are interdependent each team is interdependent and struggling with synchronization okay and managing scaled project teams that means many teams if we if we include more teams then managing is is a challenge okay so getting started with uh, nexus framework the common challenges are stabilization and dependencies the mainly is dependencies suppose if you increase the number of people or if you increase the number of teams then dependencies will come into picture that will play a very very vital role okay so that is the main challenge dependencies and also the integration or alignment okay so that is also a challenge and say for example all the almost all uh, software industries majority of the framework majority of the framework being used is scrum right okay and nowadays even kanban also is picking up so in most of the companies they are switching towards kanban but still so and i am not exaggerating wherever if you mention agile yes we are practicing agile means first thing into our mind it will come is scrum right so that means likewise the scrum is plays very very dominant role so most of the companies they are practicing scrum okay so the prerequisites to start this particular nexus framework okay so of course we should have scrum experience because the nexus so lies on the scrum foundation is scrum okay the building block is scrum so the prerequisite is we should practicing scrum and teams teams i we, we need to identify the teams and so the another thing is i will uh, just uh, in the next slide it will come the nexus integration team okay so suppose if you have say n number of say nine teams or seven teams scrum teams so then we should form one virtual team that is called nexus integration team nexus integration team is very very important okay i will explain what exactly in the next coming slides okay and we should have only one product backlog we should not have n number of product backlog because our all the teams are aiming towards one particular product delivery okay so we should have one single product backlog and we should single product and definition of done so we should have definition of done okay i will explain so here in the definition of done also is one of the commitment okay so definition of done so actually in the nexus level one definition of done is there also um, in the team level also one definition of done is there okay fine and sprint cadence we need to identify so these are the prerequisites okay okay what is the objective what is the objective why we should go for nexus that is the next question so so the main importance of any framework any framework for that matter whether it is a scrum or nexus okay so what is the main objective 
to improve the productivity to improve the efficiency to satisfy the customer that is the main objective of any framework right so even earlier also the people used to use project management waterfall there also the objective is improve the productive productivity okay so always if you think about any industry the objective is improve the productivity okay and also the people's perception people perception is so if they increase the number of team members if they increase the team size okay if they increase the team size that means the investment is more right so we have to hire them the investment is more then what is the expectation efficiency or productivity also they increase more they will expect more okay so here the main purpose of nexus framework is to optimize the productivity improve the productivity and we also expect that as the number of team members if they as we increase the number of team members that means indirectly if i make more teams then productivity also we expect more that is the natural expectation okay so here to optimize the productivity in spirit so to optimize the productivity so and as the as we increase the number of team members we linearly expect productivity also linearly that should grow that is the expectation so that is the main objective of using texas framework so our aim is at any cost we should not allow to reduce the productivity should not get diluted or it should not get dip it should not get reduced that is my objective that's why we are going for new framework and how we can improve the productivity is the next question first aim for anything aim should be there then what should be the next action to achieve that particular aim what should be my action so my action should be removing the cross team dependencies okay suppose as i mentioned one person no dependency efficiency is more if i include two people okay so dependency comes okay efficiency may try to come down we need to maintain that we need to improve that so like that so by removing the dependencies we cannot remove the dependency but we can manage the dependencies how smartly we manage the dependency is the question okay and so how we can manage the dependency so if all the dependencies if you make it transparent then the people will look into that and they will take necessary action so that that can be managed suppose if the dependencies are hidden then we cannot manage that we will not come to know only at the end of result we will come to know oh, because of that that reason so my efficiency or my productivity drop down okay so that's why what we should make is all the dependencies make it transparent as much as possible make it transparent so that all the people whoever is involved to produce that particular product they will see that particular dependencies okay and they will take necessary action up front not in the reactive mode in the preventive mode okay so as soon as see, they see the dependencies yes this dependency if i minimize if i manage then my productivity it will not impact my productivity so like that they can think and they can take the necessary action and nexus as i mentioned it is a framework okay so it is not a technique it is a framework so framework means what we should have artifacts like similar to scrum and we should have roles and we should have events okay all these things are there in nexus also like our scrum but it is very lightweight okay the advantage or beauty of the nexus framework is it is very lightweight okay it is not like very very complex if it is more complex means so many roles if we want to introduce more artifacts means then naturally the people the investor also will think because money is involved but here that is not the case so it is very very simple lightweight framework okay this also has roles definite roles this also has events like our scrum and this also has its own artifacts okay and we also know that the limitation is up to 9 teams we can scale we can scale the number of teams to 9 nine. nine number of teams are 9 we can make up we can go up to 9 sometimes we can go up to 12 also some industries they are practicing 12 teams they are working for one particular product and very frequently they are delivering value to the customer 
customer is very very happy okay so like that it is there and the simple term the definition is nexus is nothing but it is a foundation as i mentioned it is a scrum foundation okay so the uh, actual foundation is scrum okay and dependency removal logic how dependency removal logic and all so if we go into the deep so if we go through the books of the nexus then we can appreciate more okay clearly they have mentioned and that means dependency removal logic is the only one method is make it transparent dependencies make it transparent then definitely automatically the action will be taken and it will be dependency will be can be managed in a very effective way okay so nexus is a framework like scrum and that rest the building block is scrum so nexus rests on top of three to nine scrum teams okay and as i mentioned all scrum teams whichever is there in the umbrella nexus umbrella okay they work towards for one single product okay to and every every sprint the sprint may be one week two week three week even four weeks okay at same interval so they can deliver more value okay and nexus is a exoskeleton of scrum uses scrum as a building block okay and here you cannot add different flavors i cannot use one kanban team one scrum okay like that we cannot use all should be scrum only okay so if the team if the in any organizations are in your uh, practice daily practice if you have all the teams if they are having if they are using scrum then this can be used nexus can be used because as i mentioned it is a very light lightweight framework okay and nexus scrum a framework to uh, coordinate and integrate deliverables from multiple scrum teams working on the same product and so as i mentioned nexus integration team is about connection or it is a focal point and nexus integration team is a virtual team it is a virtual team there is no separate team nexus integration team it is a kind of virtual team okay the main and it is accountable for every sprint we are giving not only increment here in the nexus that is termed as integrated increment the nexus integration team okay which so called virtual team okay is accountable for generating integrated increment okay fine nexus is also uses iterative as well as incremental approach to scaling software and product development okay so like scrum because we are using scrum scrum is what iterative as well as incremental approach to deliver the software okay that means we are every sprint we are giving some value in by in the form of increment value to the customer in the form of increment okay that particular value is very very small 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 okay small always small software is very easy to debug than big software right so incrementally as well as iterative mode very in the step by step we are giving small small values so that the customer will get expected value once all the iteration is done okay so here as i mentioned the nexus is also a framework so framework means as i mentioned artifacts yes it is there and also events yes that is also having its own definite in events and also roles okay so let us take artifacts okay let us take events okay like scrum in the scrum also we have sprint planning and daily scrum review sprint review sprint retrospective so here also we have same nexus sprint planning which will happen well before the sprint planning nexus daily scrum which will happen well before the daily scrum of the scrum and nexus review okay so nexus review usually what will happen is it will happen after the uh, sprint review okay so here the integrated increment will be reviewed with the stakeholders key stakeholders to get the feedback mainly 
customer and nexus retrospective nexus retrospective is a integration of uh, team level uh, scrum retrospective okay sprint retrospective and it is having its own and plus nexus level also it will happen team level plus uh, nexus level okay and one more uh, event is introduced it is mandatory but whereas product backlog refinement in the scrum it is not at all mandatory it is optional suppose if you do very well sprint planning and if it is a shorter sprint okay then we don't have luxury to do refinement in some cases in the sprint planning itself they will do the refinement okay so but here in the nexus the product backlog refinement or cross team refinement cross team product backlog refinement is mandatory event in the nexus okay and each event and how it should be conducted what is the best practice everything in the book clearly they mentioned okay and artifacts if i come if we take artifacts nexus sprint backlog so in the sprint suppose if you use only one scrum all these days we are using scrum wherein we are using sprint backlog but here it is nexus sprint backlog okay and product backlog there also it is same here also it is same we are because all the teams a number of teams okay are working towards single product backlog so that is product backlog is a artifact and integrated increment so at the end of the sprint in the scrum at the end of the sprint we used to give the team develops increment the small, small software working software okay small working software which will give value to the customer at the end of each sprint okay but here from each team we are getting increment and suppose if i have n number of teams nine teams so all those increment we will integrate that is called integrated increment and that integrated increment will be demoed to the stakeholders to get their feedback in the nexus review meeting nexus review okay so these are the artifacts these are the events okay and additional role in the scrum we have three roles okay product owner in the scrum team consists of product owner we all know and scrum master of course developers as per the new scrum guide okay only developers okay but here only one role there is no three roles here only one role that is called nexus integration team itself is a role so as i mentioned it is a mixture from all the teams two to three representatives will collect and one virtual team we will form that is called nexus integration team okay so nexus integration team is the team is the only one role we have in the nexus okay and again that nexus integration team okay consists of representatives from a number of teams and each team will have their own roles product owner scrum master developers okay so this is the uh, difference okay and if you look at this particular framework if you look at this particular framework okay what do you feel is it not lightweight everything we know sprint planning sprint planning okay nexus daily scrum daily scrum we know we know planning we know daily scrum we know sprint review we know sprint retrospective we know refinement also most of the teams scrum teams they are following next uh, uh, scrum refinement product backlog refinement still they are doing but as per the scrum guide it is not mandatory but now here it is made it as mandatory most of the 80 percent of the people they are using refinement so that means all the events we know okay but how to conduct what is the objective of each event in the books uh, in the book uh, nexus framework book in detail they are given so those who want to take the certification those who want to go for certification those who want to know more about this particular nexus okay they can go through that and uh, uh, in detail they are given and similarly artifacts what is the major difference nothing sprint backlog we know product backlog we know increment we know and role only one role they added that too it is virtual nexus integration team and there is no new person is there okay so and sometimes in the nexus integration team one more person one more role they might have uh, introduced that is called nexus scrum master like our safe 
okay so uh, release train engineer okay for each train agile release train for each ERT so one particular uh, designated role is there release train engineer so here also nexus scrum master okay so for nexus scrum master there is no rte certification not like that so here there is no separate certification okay if he knows the scrum knowledge that is more than enough okay or any one of the senior scrum master among that nine teams can play uh, nexus scrum master role that is also is feasible okay so here as i mentioned of course product owner single product owner why single product owner because we are using only one single product that's why only one single product owner is enough and the teams the number of teams in each sprint the backlog is divided into n number of teams depending on the teams that will be sliced or that will be distributed work will be distributed okay and the very simple comparison okay so here uh, the less large scale scrum and essential safe say for example safe why i'm telling is safe so the essential safe very basic architecture it the nexus also works similar to almost basic level of essential essential safe essential safe is a very basic fundamental uh, thing right so what well, that means only one release train okay so here yeah the advantages are simple and clear framework building on the scrum minimal addition of new roles there is no role at all okay but in other frameworks we are having a lot of roles and see i am not commenting like that is inferior that is superior not like that. just comparison each has its own advantages okay so each framework may be having more roles and it is having its own plus points it is having its own advantages okay so and uh, for very big product development and all it may be very useful and it is very customer centric and single product owner single shared backlog and shared definition of done okay so uh, shared definition of done in the nexus level we have one definition of done again in the team level as usual we have uh, definition of done again for each user story or in each work item we can define the definition of done definition of done it is agreement between product owner and the team member and that particular team right so we can have team level n number of definition of done and one nexus level one stringent definition of done will be there because it is dealing with the integrated increment which will directly go to the customer okay and uh, shared backlog refinement shared sprint planning okay and uh, shared daily scrum single product uh, backlog and shared sprint review retrospective and uh, ease of learning very very easy and certification also you can get sps scaled professional scrum is the certification from uh, scrum.org okay if you go through the book scrum nexus guide and that book you can easily you can take the certification okay so summary okay so summary is scale whatever scaling okay so whatever framework we use okay whether it is an x safe less whatever we use the main intention is what value how we can give more value to the customer okay not output we can give more output but if it is not giving any value to the customer so uh, it will not serve our purpose okay so the nexus extends scrum by creating network among the teams it will create the very uh, very professional network okay so that dependencies can be managed very effective way and integration is also about connection about people okay connection about teams indirectly it is connection about people only okay so be rigorous about removing dependencies and creating an integrated increment at least every sprint so and every sprint suppose if you use only scrum okay so what is the expectation at the end of each sprint so there should be a increment which will give value to the customer some value we are going to deliver so then only it will the purpose of the sprint is to give some value working software to the customer so here also integrated increment that means 
so we can give the value so we can expand we can give more value to the customer than individual team okay and <coughs> scrum concepts okay uh, we should remember that without first implementing the fo uh, foundational scrum we cannot use this next yes. okay so when we should use when we have more number of if the scrum team so immediately suppose if you want to start uh, nexus it is uh, risky okay so we should have scrum teams and they should matured enough they should know all the scrum terminologies so the important and the agile mindset they should have more than just bahating the subject they should have they should incline they should have that complete agile mindset okay then only they can do scrum or any agile framework for that matter they should have that mindset okay so i should have hungry then only the food will be very tasty okay not for the sake of uh, eating okay so like that and start with nexus guide so the very simple guide like our uh, scrum guide scrum guide is only 13 pages so this is also same so nexus guide and all terminologies everything we know because we know we are familiar and we are matured in scrum so nexus guide is also very very simple okay and actually the background is the history the in 2015 the nexus framework started again in 2018 some some modifications they done new version again now in 2020 the scrum guide got changed right so now immediately in 2021 the nexus also so it is in line with scrum guide okay so for example accountability commitment product backlog okay so uh, commitment is product goal sprint backlog sprint goal and here integrated increment working towards definition of done so like that they made so we can start with nexus gate you just go through the nexus guide it is freely available in uh, site we can we can download and we can go through the nexus guide okay to get more ideas and case studies white papers are there's a lot of things are there and in the nexus uh, scrum.org itself we can use free practice assessments okay after reading book we can go through so then we'll get more idea free assessment tests are there so all these things are there and there are many books are there white papers are there so the nexus framework for uh, scaling around this um, within 50 dollars by bitter and uh, enterprise and scrum it is a very famous book from ken Schauber. and of course nexus guide by ken Schauber. it is uh, available 